Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52 Playoffs first round match between God War and his humans and Cody Westwind and his Chaos Dwarves. Uh, pretty interesting, God War normally has rubbish human teams but this time he's got a good human team and uh, obviously usually Chaos Dwarf teams are pretty good but Cody Westwind is in with a pretty rubbish uh, Chaos Dwarf team, as far as Chaos Dwarf teams go. This isn't really very good. He's got a loner, loner chaff blocker, a uh, rookie chaff, two rookie chaff blockers, and a lone chaff blocker, so three rookie chaff blockers. Um, just a couple of guards, and then one decent dwarf, but he hasn't got claw. Two basically bare minimum. Bull Centaurs, a bare minimum carrier with just sure hands and a dirty player. And uh, yeah, obviously a, a journeyman, and then he's paid for a Merc, so he's paid 100k for this blocker, wizard, and bribe, so he's down what, 350 TV. And then God War's got a pretty nice human team. Loads of players. And loads of skills, really nice blitzers, decent ogre, really nice catcher, so yeah, interesting. Interesting, like I'd, <laughs> I think chores are better enough than humans and this should be a game, and that is a huge removal. So yep, thrower instantly appled. Guard block tackle throw is a great thrower, isn't it? So yeah, instant apple there. But I like, obviously gotta favour the humans. The humans, even against like you know, this chart team is very unspectacular. Oh, sure, I like this. I think I would have just wanted to push up this side. But he's gonna try and fight with them. Maybe this is higher risk, higher reward, but I wouldn't have I wouldn't have considered this with a two string four players there. Maybe just trying to get rid of the uh oh wow a GFI. Oh I don't like this. No, it was to, it was to get it was to get that guy out, okay. Not really a fan of it. Also, I'd rather just have the ogre here. Personally. So yeah, so it's it's gone it's gone pretty well. To be fair, it's not it's not what I would have done, but you know he's got he's got two of them knocked down. Loads of things in contact. It's not terrible, and there is a massive lack of guard. And the chaffs. Literally only got three guard total. No. Is there going to be a DP foul on the ogre? I wouldn't hate it. Oh, full power. A few hits back from that basing turn from the humans. Oh, he's not, he's not fouling the ogre, he's fouling the blodger. Hmm. <laughs> the, pro the problem with his, even though it's a nice human team, it's still just a human team, isn't it? And they're still just all strength three and... There's some guard, but it's really not exciting. Haven't we blockless blocks? Hey. 
and got to worry about the uh, bull getting free from chains and break tackle. There's a chain. No, no, he's stand for. Or the old, the old guy could have done something. Do you play a line or you say? <laughs> what what dirty play a line? <laughs> Both dirty play a line or one gets stunned, one gets killed. <laughs> yeah, he could have gone for a sack, couldn't he? He could have gone for the ball sack, but this is a pretty good foul. And to be fair, like going for the sack, it, it. Oh my god, that's huge. Going for the sack does. does. like give you the chance to get Space Cadet, doesn't it? I wish there was a <laughs> better term. Because <laughs> I don't. I don't hit space or anything. But, um. You know, if you go for the hit here, like. it is defenseless, so you've got a really good chance of getting in, to be fair. But you know there is the chance that if you go for the ball sack now you've you know you're giving up you kind of have to give up cover don't you to uh to generate pressure basically so there is the chance that it exposes you but then obviously not going for it exposes you the fact that he can scoot past you here which is what he's done but surely he's gonna get a hit on the ball But the thing is, he hasn't got tackle, has he? But he's got three dice. Oh, he's good at bolt anyway. Yeah, maybe you should have gone for the ball sack last turn because this is. This looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? It's interesting, isn't it? It is. It is kind of super interesting because, yeah, that that's the thing—the cost. Yeah, it's it's interesting. It is super. It is super interesting, as Kalon would say, because everything's got pros and cons, and that's again, yeah, I've probably said this a million times, but it's what it's why I really didn't like the rebel. Don't say things are good or bad. Just say it's not what you do. But who can say if it's good or bad? Because that's pretty stupid. Because there's lots of things that who can say if it's good or bad. Because there are pros and cons, aren't there? Like that, you know. There's, there are big pros and big cons to, to both ways of doing things. And that one, it really is just a judgment call of whether you want to go for the ball that turn or go for probably wow more chance of attrition and. A safer, a safer approach, and that's that's another huge removal there. I mean, my God, these players, these players that God was losing, like he had to up or him, didn't he? Like he just had to, and then he's lost like two of his other best players. Unbelievable. Oh well, he gets a bang back, and yeah, you got to up all that. You literally have to up all that when you've got so few good players. Oh, oh. Yeah, exactly. So some's objective, but come on, man. Come on, man. Like a lot, like a lot of blood balls, going to be subjective, isn't it? Just because we just don't know. This is, I think this. See, I think this was bad because I would want to get people back here to defend. Like I really want this guy here to defend against this guy scoring rather than him because he's got tackle, isn't he? So to me, that'd be way better to get that. But then I guess having a tackle on there, another player here is is interesting as well. Hmm. 
Yeah, I haven't tack on there. That's probably better than I would have done. So, super interesting. We only had four rerolls, so you know, 35 times out of 36, I think my way is better. But, <laughs> what about the one in 36? Then it's pretty terrible, so his way probably was better, I think. Maybe it was definitely better. Hello, Dimmy. He did pick an awful human. This is an awful kit, if I'm correct. It's a really awful kit. It's an uninspired chorf kit, to be honest. It's a, it's the bog standard. If you're gonna call your team our watch, this is <laughs> this is the kit you'd choose. <laughs> There's much better, there's much better chorf kits, but at least it's not offensively bad like the human one. <laughs> nope, goes for the pickup in the tackle zone in the rain and the dodge out. Wow. And the double GFI. So he's in range with four GFIs, isn't he? Flip me. Flip me. That was a rowdy. That was a rowdy five plus pickup. With not too much behind him. Oh my god, he's just rolling all the dice. He's just rolling all of the dice. What a turn. What a turn for Cody Westwind. Yeah, oh yeah, not even all blue heads is unforgivable. I wonder if Chris will be back for Blood Bowl 3. That'll be interesting. Oh wow, gets the 1D in the POW. Oh man. The bull's still a threat, isn't it? Okay, it's a 5 plus pickup, but got the reroll for it. He could also run this one down as a as a scoring threat as well to get some kind of thing. And the humans humans are still dangerous. Not too dangerous, I don't think. Not rerolls. Long way from the end zone in the rain. I think I like this. It's. Yeah, it's in range, isn't it? And it's marking as well. Pretty nice. I like that he's being very safe about this, to be fair. Pretty, pretty nice. Ooh, got a reroll here, obviously. Diced. Ooh, and pretty unlucky scatter. Pretty unlucky scatter. There is going to be a chance for the humans, but no reroll is going to be shit as he rolls an instant skull. Instant skull. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. So you can blitz him, block him, and then the sure hands can pick it up and GFI hand off. So, yep. Yeah. Very much a decent chow. Oh, he's got to power this guy, probably. Probably should have punched him first. Let's see what happens. Probably really before any of this. Mm. It's going to make it a lot harder. Because, yeah, he really wanted to power it. He can still get there, I think. Yeah, he can. Kind of needs the power here. Gets it. Oh wow, there's a chance! No. Screwed by the rain. Diced again. Pretty nice defense, but obviously uh, helped out by the kind of insane dice. 
four cards is just brutal. Yeah, that's... But he's still got a full 11 for the second half. And the wizard used, yeah. Yeah, to be fair. Using the wizard, like... Take four cars on your offensive drive and get wizarded on and get out and nil-nil really isn't the worst thing at all, is it? You could almost say you should be happy with that result. <laughs> to be fair. Probably wouldn't be that happy in the heat of the moment. But probably should be quite happy in the heat of the moment. So you might end up like tilting here a little bit, even though you shouldn't. It's funny how that does happen sometimes. Yes, these. I mean, the 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 Chorv team is really, really pretty terrible. And you know, the humans, the humans still look decent, I think. But yeah, obviously they are down. They are down. Uh, this nice catcher and down the ogre. <laughs> Fair enough, Dimra. <laughs> Well, that's a guy cast. Hmm. We're being very safe here. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, got it, got it, got it, Dimmy. <laughs> oh wow, another removal. And that's that's another big one. But I do like that he's played so he needs more in the centre here. This, this bull should have probably been in the center. Oh, I hate this foul. I hate this foul so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god, I hate that foul. Even with the bribe, like, look at this gaping hole in your center. Like, you have to put in both hobbles, I think. There. Oof. Oof. Indeed, Kahuna, indeed. Hot on the internet, that's true, yeah. Dimmy is the hottest. The hottest thing on the internet right now. Well, of course, the actual hottest thing on the internet. <laughs> and... And MILF Manor, if, if you're a fan of MILF Manor. <laughs> I've got some glorious MILF Manor emotes. <laughs> MILF Manor is indeed real, yeah. I just randomly made some uh, some MILF Manor and Are You The One Emotes last night. I don't really know why I did, but I did. The John Emote is amazing because he was, he was a complete dickhead. And uh, I've got like John looking sad and angry. <laughs> they're just for me because they're like tier 3 emotes, but you know, I like them. Oh, fails the dodge. And now, the humans missed probably the two most critical turns of the game there, really, because it was pretty interesting, wasn't it, that the humans were there, but I got distracted by Milk Manor. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, look, this was, to be fair, this is exactly what I said, right? This is exactly where we needed to reinforce, and that's exactly where the humans came down, put loads of pressure on, and then the Chorfs tidied up a bit, but then went for the dodge and lost it. Yeah. Now the humans haven't got many players left, but maybe they can do something. 
The mills definitely aren't going to do their own sums. <laughs> but it's it's really terrible. Like it's terrible TV, but it's just so entertaining. That's the thing. It's funny because I I always thought I would hate those kind of shows. You know, because they're terrible. But they're just so much fun to watch. <laughs> Yeah, it's like so bad it's good. I always thought they'd be so bad they're bad, you know? Oh wow, look at this. Make he's rolling all the dice. Oh not that one. And that one was the most important one, wasn't it? That's putting that out to there. Here, there, here. Still getting a hit with the uh bowl though. But now it's three dice. Yeah, like, you know, what's it called? Uh, some things, like, Baywatch was so bad it was good. And then some things are just so bad they're bad. Like, Auto Man. Auto Man was so bad it was good. That's a really old one. I never watched it at the time, but I watched it on, like, Sky one time. Like, some things are just so bad they're, they're, like, they're funny and entertaining, aren't they? Moon, what was it? Moonfall. Moonfall was terrible. It's like the worst movie I've seen in my life. But it was wildly entertaining because it was the worst movie I've seen in my life. <laughs> Whereas some movies are just, just crap and boring and you're just like, oh god, what is this shit? Well, this has turned into an absolute scrap, hasn't it? I bet the I bet the humans are pretty regretting that they didn't get that count score right now because this is a a mess and I don't know who's going to score if anybody. Not the humans. The chores should have count had a decent chance to count score, didn't they? Hmm. Like the chores don't look like they're scoring at the moment, but then neither do the humans. Could we have a nil-nil decided by kicks? <laughs> Maybe we just need loads more cards to sort it out. There's another removal. Probably should have just stayed where he was, right? Like Staying where he is there is pretty decent. You either put two players to hit him or maybe you try the 1D which could fail. And at least he's pinning him away. That's a bit, uh, not sure, not sure about that dodge, and obviously it's easy to see after he rolls a one and, uh, and then moves himself. But... Wow, huge power with the uh, non-tackle. Goes for the scatter. Interesting. Obviously dangerous if it goes back here, but then I guess he's got a free play. If it goes over the middle, then Chaucer got free and a break tackle. If it goes this way, obviously it's amazing. That was an interesting scatter. I mean, it's no comedy mega here because both teams are pretty crap and <laughs> they're both rolling dice and things are happening on both sides. It's been a strange game. I mean, I guess the humans have had the worst of it. <laughs> the humans have had the worst of it, haven't they? Okay. Maybe it is a comedy mega. Because the, the dwarves have really got nothing. They've got a couple of mighty blow guys and like three guys. So yeah, maybe it is a comedy mega. And then somehow the humans have like got shots at the ball and stuff. God was the humans. I don't think he's done much wrong. I think he's be he's had the worst dice, hasn't he? He's had all these cards, don't we? As I think the chaffs probably should have um, 
you know, done better after all the removals. But then he's got a rubbish team, so it's just it's just weird. I don't think either's really done anything terribly. Or anything brilliantly. <laughs> It's pretty hard to be brilliant at Blood Bowl, though, you know, like, there's no... Like, do you know what I mean? Like, the, the, what's brilliant in a Blood Bowl game, you know? Like, maybe some funky chains. Maybe some, like, some lovely screens or whatever. Like, it's really hard to, like, do an amazing play in Blood Bowl. Mostly it's just what... Mostly it's just what most good players would do. You know, we'll do something like it, and then it's easier to pick apart that oh, this square could have been slightly better or whatever than things like that. <laughs> yep, fair enough, Corpax. <laughs> and, uh,. Yeah, fair enough, Ducky. Yeah, maybe. But you know, like, I mean, I'm not like Artemis in that I don't get disgusted by people not playing perfectly. But like, nobody's done anything that made made me think, "God, oh, that was terrible," or anything, you know. over time, isn't it? Gets the 5 plus pick up again. Wow. It's not a competition, is it, Frank Stavage? <laughs> How many does Rick have? <laughs> <laughs> It's not a competition. We're all just doing our thing. And putting something out there and people like what they like, don't they? It is what it is. People are just like what they like, aren't they? You know? Yeah, we're all contributing to the Blood Bowl community. Well, thanks, Frank Stavanch. <laughs> okay, we've got a We've got a Kanoring threat. I wonder if Kanor will come back for uh, Blood Bowl 3 a bit harder, probably. Like everyone is, isn't it? Everyone's, everyone's coming back for Blood Bowl 3. I wonder if Cruz does. Big pow. Powdy howdy. Brought some good pals, to be fair. Cordy Westwind. Oh! <gasps> Scatter catch! There's a chance! There's a chance uphill, uphill this guy, yeah? And can you get into the end zone? One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI, yep. Ah, the big guy, diced. Do you then switch and dodge off this guy? There's nowhere to go for him apart from back. Oh, he went forward. No, oh, okay. Well, I think... Was he going to go forward and hand off to him in a tackle zone? I guess he was going to go forward and hand off to him in a tackle zone. He probably didn't have a lot of options. Probably fine. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I wouldn't say that though. <laughs> Hello, Papa Bikio. Another removal. Could have, could have surfed that that catcher, but I probably would have done because the chance of you scoring so low that I would have probably just given up on my own score to surf him. Maybe that wouldn't have. It's not that low, is it? You've got a five plus of the reroll here, and then you've got throw the problem is you don't really want to put in the reroll to try and score. But on the other hand, maybe you have to. Double GFI pass, and then don't reroll the double GFI. And now you re-roll the pass or the catch. Nice. I think that was the right play because, like, just scoring is so good, isn't it? You know, score, like scoring and just winning <laughs> is really fucking good rather than keeping that re-roll for overtime. So it was probably the correct play. Now the humans have got a counter score chance. Not a great one, but a chance. Yeah, they couldn't reroll. I probably wouldn't have rerolled even if they could. It was so the odds. Maybe they would have done though, because the overtimes <laughs> look so shit for them. <laughs> Maybe they would have rerolled that if they had the reroll. Like maybe it would have been correct for the humans. The humans are wouldn't the toss. Seven players. They've got a shot, haven't they? It's not good. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it, Ducky? Because there's a lot... Like, obviously, just winning in normal time is the best you can do. So, like, once you're one nil up... Like, adding rerolls into things to try and win in normal time is a lot better. Whereas, the team that's 1 0 down has got to get to overtime, you know, committing as little as possible as well, haven't they? Like, it, it, it's different when your best case scenario is winning compared to when your best case scenario is getting to overtime. It changes things a little bit. And then also, yeah, just take, like, it's so easy to, like, lose the toss and then things happen. Like a reroll, the chance of just winning the game is pretty bad. Hey. Yeah, the the rain does make it a bit worse. But he's got the ball on a catcher now. He just doesn't have many players to come down with this. But he does have a sideline cage. Opportunity, unless he dub skulls, <laughs> which he does. <laughs> well, he did everything right there, didn't he? he? Made that all very safe, like super safe. Brilliant play was brilliant zero reroll play there. By God, well, but um, wow, <laughs> shut on by the dub skulls because that was going to be a, a like wasn't great, was it? It was just going to be a sideline cage, but. And the sideline cage would have been pretty pushed in if he was going to sideline cage. Probably was, was going to sideline cage. And I guess to jam in here pretty hard. Pretty hard. And still have a bull back. Didn't get to surf him, but KO'd him, so <laughs> still surfed him, and yet yeah, now it's looking, now it's looking pretty horrendous for the humans. Ooh, the bull gone mental with a bull. I guess it's pretty good. Actually, just stops the three plus out. That was pretty wild. I, th I think I referred to like leaving the bull here. 
to stop his dodge out. Oh wow, <laughs> another double skulls. <laughs> well, double skulls back to back when you've got no rerolls is pretty tough to uh pretty tough to Oh wow now he's double skulled! <laughs> Now it's very now the left's very open, yeah. Yeah, lovely sidestep away. And he's got his bulls together, hasn't he? That's the thing, you just like you know, now yeah the, I would have like I would have left him back here or here. I didn't hit here to stop him dodging there. And you're still at least a bit further ahead of him. But he can probably pull one bull back now anyway and have something. You know, that was it. Maybe he should have dodged him rather than doing the 1D there. Oh, no, he's got to stand firm. Okay. Doesn't matter at all. 1D, completely correct. Wait, that was just a double GFI. So he could have just hit him. Is he going to 3 dice him? He's going to 3 dice him. Flip me. Yeah, I think he should have potatoed as well. Because he still got 3 d He still got 3 d didn't he? And it, where was he here? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He could have been there and in range, couldn't he? He could have maybe even been further. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Maybe he could have even got to there. Oh, he's only moved 7. Yeah. Yeah, you, you had to potato in the opposing half last turn. Because he, like, he still got three to heat. Yeah, I think I think that was correct. Dog to the dog. Now he's got to survive another three D, and then another three D after that as well, isn't it? Like he's just he just gave himself too much to do, really. Like without rerolls, you can probably survive two G like two three Ds. You've probably got a decent shot. As long as you can get out of range of the chaffs, you know, if they 3D, they push you near the, nearer the end zone as well. They can make you can maybe even make it so they push you into range if they don't uh, if they don't knock you over the first time. That's weird, isn't it? I don't see. Yeah, and I mean you can just score. You can score, <laughs> and yes, you get it further away from them. Like it just seemed crazy to not get forward there. Like fair enough if this, you know, if there's a chaff here, then by all means stay stay back so you're getting three deed without tackle. But there wasn't anything over there, so yeah, you, you had to get forward. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, Ducky. Like you know, at the end of the day, you, you know. At the end of the day, people who get paid three hundred grand a week make mistakes and stuff, don't they? And that and tilt a bit. And you know, if you're God boy here, boy howdy, are you thinking you've been hard done by with all these cars and stuff? So, yep, yeah, indeed. And they've only got you know three minutes and stuff per turn and whatever. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Not playing absolutely perfectly, but yeah. I obviously, agree. He should have gone forward. Well, now it's looking. Uh, it's looking like <laughs> it could be kicks. <laughs> could just be a fight, like a bull pickup. Though is over, isn't it? And he's got a couple of turns to get, a, three turns to get a bull pickup on a five plus. Oh, Nolly, I would never, I would never not play absolutely perfectly every turn. <laughs> I don't know what the Shohan's hub is. Surfed, maybe? Appoed? 
No, benched. Just literally benched. Mistake. Indeed, Fimea. Indeed. That is exactly it. You you got it, Fimea. Any any players that may be perceived as not absolute perfection were just a test chat. <laughs> And that is it. Wow. Well, it's a bit of a shame, isn't it? And another, another like, good team. I mean, not a great team, but a good team is uh, certainly the better team has lost here. Uh, but there's been some amazing teams gone out in this tournament already. And this was not an amazing team. It was a human team, but it was a pretty good human team. And surely this is over. PC's dwarves are indeed already out, yep. PC's dwarves are confirmed out. It's going to be so funny if you throw this, Nolly, by the way. <laughs> if, you, if you throw this match, boy howdy. <laughs> but um, it's much like... It's much the same situation as I had versus PC, wasn't it? You know, I have that Amazon team and it's like... It was the worst match I could have got. PC's got about the worst match he could have got versus Nolly. But, you know, it's still not that bad, right? He's still got dwarves, he can still roll some dice, he can still make all the right plays and give himself a chance to win. But it's going to be very, very difficult. Oh yeah, you were supremely confident that time as well, weren't you, Nolly? But uh, <laughs> didn't didn't work out so well that time for you. <laughs> anyway, um, congratulations, God War. Congratulations, Cody Westwind. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>